So we were uh, studying systemic bacteriology in alphabetical order. So we were in yes, yes for Salmonella, we have finished. The next yes is Shigella, then will be Spirochids, and other class it will be Staphylococcus and Streptococcus. All the topics are important, so let's start. Shigella. Shigella, you know, it for uh, uh, whole, all Shigella, they ferment manitol except one. Who is that exception? Shigella dysentria. Shigella dysentria. Shigella dysentria type 1, right? And also uh, catalyst positive. All are catalyst positive. Whole enterobacteries is catalyst positive, except same. Shigella dysentria type 1. Okay, remember two important things manitol exception. And catalyst positive exception is your Shigella dysentery type 1. This is frequently asked question. You must know. No, no, you can't leave it. Dash. Now, Shigella dash is, which one is the late lactose fermenters? As we told, Shigella comes in the nil fermenters, non-lactose fermenters, all of them, right? But except, who is that late lactose fermenter? Who is the beautiful girl I told? Who is lactose means, you know, it's a cream, it's a beauty, you know, pink color. Okay. So, who is that late lactose? That is your Sony. S for N N E I Sony. Okay, this question also frequently asked. This is the only lactose fermenters. Okay, so in Mekongke agar you get pink color, everything will be all other Shigella species will be pale color, but only pink color. If a Shigella is pink color, that is Sony. Okay, late lactose fermenter. And which is the most common cause of dysentery in the world? Who is beautiful? Of course, your Punjabi. Who Punjabi Sony? Yeah, Shigella Sony is the popular girl. She is everywhere, all around the world. So she is the popular one. So Sony is worldwide. This entry worldwide is Sony. But in India, in India, which is most common, Shigella Indians are always flexible, flexinary, flexinary, flexinary. Okay, flexinary Indians are flexible. Very simple. Okay, Sony worldwide popular. And uh, Indians are flexible. So this all are questions. Most common cause of dysentery in the world, most common cause of dysentery in India, and most common cause of severe dysentery. Anything with severe comes, it is your again who your Shigella dysentery, Shigella dysentery type one again. So these three are important. Questions are asked from any of these things. Okay, so you must know. That means severity means you say humoritic uremic syndrome. You know that complication of Shigella, you know, this is yeah, the humoritic uremic syndrome. Okay, now let's see. Humoritic uremic syndrome also caused by EHEC species also. That is uh, E. coli enterohemorrhagic type also. But overall most common is dysentery type 1. Now how does this work? Shiga toxin, already I told you, if you remember in previous general uh, bacteriology, yes, Shiga. Shiga, Shilanti is 60 years old. So, it inhibits the 60S unit, 60 Shiga anti, okay? And then inhibits your protein synthesis, like elongation factor, EF2 factor of cornabitum diphtheria and pseudomonas inhibit the protein synthesis. Here, it's a Shiga toxin that inhibits the 60S unit, yes, yes, 60, okay? That's the question. And how, what is the mechanism? They invade, usually they invade the M cells and in, in uh, GIT M cells it infect and then cause the infection. What is the infection dose? Very less, Shigala anti, Shila anti, needs only 10 to 100 bacilli to cause infection. Very, that's what severity. It's very high. You just need only 10 to 100. You remember, for salmonella, it was how much? For typhoid fever, you need 10 power, 3 to 10 to the power 6. For cholera, it was, vibrio cholera, how much it was? It, you need to have more than 10 to the power 6. For the lowest one, the so infected dose is important for these trichicola, salmonella, vibrio cholera. So you must know. Okay, got it. Complication as we talk. Humoritic uremic syndrome, hemorrhagic colitis, and reactive arthritis. These are other complications, okay, important complications. And transport media, you know, already we spoke. So, which is that one? They need what? Salman and Sheila anti needs what for transport? SAC. They need SAC. SAC, buffered, glycerol. SAC, buffered, glycerol. Okay, SAC, buffered, glycerol. Don't forget, this is important. And what are the enrichment media? Who enriches Sheila anti and Salman? Who? Your selena, selenite, selenite have broth, selenite have broth. Question, question, we discuss. And selective media, all are same. You see, uh, uh, in uh, sal Salman Khan, Salmonella, we had more selective one, that is your, which one? Wilson Blair media. But in Shigella, Wilson Blair will not come. But rest, all other medias are common for both Salmonella and Shigella. DCA, XLD, HE and SS. Okay, you have to remember it. There's no other option because for Vibrio Colour, Salmon and Shigella, the selective media is an important question. So at least Salmon Shigella, it's the same. So the work becomes very easy. Okay. DCA, XLD, uh, HE, 
that is a hectone entry other and SS, Shigala Salmonella other. Okay, then that's it. This is for the Ashigala, the most commonly asked questions we have already discussed. Now let's go to important topics, spirochids. When you think about spirochids, you know the stretcher. Okay, the thing which is coming in your mind is this stretcher, spiral shaped. Okay, and what motility? Corkscrew motility. We are going to talk about that in a while now. So what we have three groups of bacteria under triponema. What are they? Uh, I'm sorry, under, under spirochids. They are uh, they are triponema, borrelia, and leptospira. Okay, triponema, borrelia, leptospira. So first one is triponema. Triponema means the one important thing is what triponema pallidum that was syphilis. But also we have other species. We are going to talk about that now. So answer me. Uh, triponema uh, pallidum. Triponema uh, pallidum. Here it is, this, which is causing your syphilis. Which is causing syphilis. What about keratium? Keratium. Okay, kisko carrot person there? Pintu, pintu ka carrot person there. Man, the disease caused is called pinta. Take care, remember, okay? Who likes the carrot? Carrot kisko person there? This is a carrot, no? Carrot, okay? Carrot kisko person there? Pintu ka carrot person there. Pintu likes carrot. Keratium cause pinta. Question, question. No doubt. Endemicum causes endemic is easy, but sometimes they'll not give this word. Instead, they'll give what? The, the disease name is Bijil. Madlar, how to remember? Endemic area, you need bijli. In endemic area, you need electricity. Electricity in India is bijli. Yeah, right? Bijli. Bijli chahiye. Endemic area. Endemic villages mein bijli chahiye. Endemic villages mein bijli chahiye. Okay? So, that's another question. What about pertunin? Perth. Perth. Perth or Perth. Koi bhi yaad karo. Perth ke pas kya hai? Bada. Perth kya karta hai? Usually class mein? Yarn karta hai. Jab microbiology class aega, ho yarning karega. Perth kya karega? Yarning karega. The disease name is yas. Pertune kas yas. Very simple, simple, simple. Very simple. Sweet. Very sweet. Okay. Pertune causes yas and palladium causes the syphilis. We're going to talk about that. Okay. So this is pinta, yas, bijil. You can expect one question. Straightforward, direct question. Okay. So don't forget this. Pintu ka carrot person then. Endemic village mein bijli chahiye. Perth kya karta? Yarn karta hai. Chab micro, not in my micro class. Generally in micro class, Perth kya karta? He does yarning. Okay. So, yes. Okay. Very easy. Now, triponema pallidum. Triponema pallidum causes the, what are the diseases it's causing? Pallidum causes the syphilis. You know that one. What is the incubation period? 10 to 90 days. One of the longest incubation days it has triponema pallidum. Stages of syphilis. So, we have primary, secondary, tertiary. So, can you tell me? This picture will be there. This is genital. This is an ulcer in the penile region, in the penis. And then this is a, what type of, what you call it as, if it is syphilis, you call it as hot chancre. Okay, we're going to talk about this. So this is your primary syphilis. If they give primary syphilis or hot chancre, okay, primary. These rashes you're seeing, they are secondary. What are they? Rashes in the palms and soles. Rashes you see here, all the rashes in the palms and soles. Rashes in the palms and soles. And this is condyloma lata. Condyloma lata. So these things we're going to talk in detail now. They are secondary syphilis. Okay, now let's talk individually, separately. So primary syphilis, as I told you, you guys must be thorough in syphilis. Syphilis is very important topic. Derma and also micromage, important topic. Primary syphilis, otherwise called the hard chancre, but no pain. Okay, there is no pain. No, no pain. No pain. No pain. Painless. Okay, no pain. But if you remember chancroid, chancroid, which is D, so it is caused by H. Ducrehemophilus, D U C R E Y Ducre. That causes what? That causes that chancroid is what? It is, it is also called soft ulcer. That's a soft ulcer. And but soft, but kya painful. It is very painful. It painful hota hai. Okay, chancroid is painful. You remember Ducre, Ducre, Ducre school of fish appearance. Remember tram track appearance. Those things are chancroid. But you talk about hot chancre. Please remember it's primary syphilis and no pain. It will resolve in one to two months easily. And then comes the secondary syphilis. If not treated, it will go to secondary syphilis. Secondary syphilis, as I told you, rashes on the palms and soles and condyloma lata. This is condyloma lata. I'm not going to talk about condyloma acuminata. By this time, you must be knowing condyloma acuminata is caused by HPV. Don't forget. You want specially 7 and 11. Condyloma acuminata. Okay, acuminata is HPV virus. Lata is by syphilis, that is triponema pallidum. And alopecia lymphadenopathy, not that common. Tertiary syphilis. Now this picture comes with history of patient had sex. You know, it's a STD disease. Syphilis is basically a STD disease. So it's a true transmitter. Okay. So remember that. So in ulcer, in ulcer, when, when you talk about STD and when you talk about ulcer causing diseases, there are two or very, very popular. Uh, no, I mean, one is syphilis, very common one. Other one is your 
which one your herpes simplex virus then comes your chancroid chancroid and then all your lgb lymphogranuloma venerum uh, and your uh, the dono uh, which is lympho lg which is caused by chlamydia species okay all these things they will come in the uh, the in the ulcer part okay so please remember this okay syphilis hcv chancroid lgb so this all are the uh, ulcers caused by in ulcer uh, when you talk about ulcer these are the most most common ones okay right in skin what it causes skin the lesion it causes is guma this is a, we are talking about tertiary syphilis now tertiary syphilis when the primary is not treated then it will become a tertiary okay when the primary is primary secondary not treated then it will go to the tertiary in tertiary first most important lesion is guma that is granulomatous lesion see this is a guma this is a, if you have a picture like this perforated so that is because of the guma okay please remember that that's important and then after that in skin what about in CNS? When the CNS is affected, that is manifested in the that is manifested in the eye. What is that name? Argyll Robertson. Argyll Robertson pupil. Argyll Robertson A for accommodation. Accommodation reflex is present, but there is no light reflex. This is very important question. Ophthalmology point of view and also in a, a microbiology point of view. You, uh, it means it's otherwise other name for Argyll Robertson people is also called prostitute people. Prostitute ke pas kya hota hai? Prostitute can accommodate anybody, but they don't have light because they are sad, their life is depressive, so they don't have what light. So that's the way you remember. Syphilis me Argyll Robertson people. So Argyll Robertson people argue to they can accommodate, but no light reflex. Your eye can accommodate, but there is no what light reflex. That's Argyll Robertson people. What about spinal cord? In spinal cord, yes, you would have what. Tabis dorsalis. Tabis dorsalis. If you think about Tabis dorsalis, that is the dorsal column is affected. Okay, in spinal cord, the, do, the uh, do, uh, usually the dorsal column is affected. So you have the neurological issues also. That's also tertiary syphilis. Okay, so tertiary syphilis may one is skin, eye, CNS. CN, generally, we talk CNS is brain or in the your spinal cord, and then heart. In heart, uh, in cardiovascular system, one is iotitis and the other one is the aneurysms. Aneurysms of iota. Question, question, question. All are questions. Okay. Iotitis, aneurysm of iota also uh, because of tertiary syphilis can occur. Okay. That's it. So these are the important questions. So anything uh, your case related to this aneurysm of iota, uh, sex without condom, these type of question comes, unprotected sex comes, you think about syphilis. Okay. That's it. They'll give you a patient had this is they give the picture and they say patient had history of sex before a few years and then he developed you know heart issues or you know can be I to be just uh, Argyll Robertson people so don't confuse it is your syphilis tertiary syphilis okay now so we have primary secondary tertiary which is common adult but we have also congenital syphilis when the mother has syphilis and she transmits the syphilis to baby what are the diseases we are going to see the first one what is this. When the baby born to a syphilis mother, this is called, question can be asked, this is called sniffles. Also called what? It's a rhinitis. Basically, it's a rhinitis. It's a rhinitis. So you can see all this crust forming and everything. You can take it. They're called sniffles. This one, you know, this notch, this notch incisor, this is notched. It's a notch incisor, notch incisor. That's called Hutchinson's. Tooth. We are going to talk about the Hutchinson's tooth. Okay. And look at this. This is the, this was same. The tibia. This is a tibia. So, you see, it become like a, what? Like a saber. Like a saber, right? Saber. So, we call saber shin or saber tibia. Okay. Yes. Yes. Saber shin or saber tibia. Okay. Got it? So, uh, this, I'm going to tell this is sniffles. Rhinitis. Hutchinson's tooth, I told you, notch incisor is a Hutchinson's tooth, frequently asked, sniffles, Hutchinson's tooth, saber tins, saber tins, usually saber shins or saber tibia, tibia's anterior part, so there is a bowing of knee, this all are characteristic for your congenital syphilis. Copper colored rash is also common for your syphilis. Okay, right. Detection. Detection, we have many diagnoses. The diagnosis is basically the detection of what? IgM detection by uh, FDA ABS. For congenital, we're talking about a congenital. Okay, congenital, we're talking. Congenital FTA is, remember, fetus 
fetal congenital means fetal now so fetal capacitors fta abs that's it detection of igm detection by fta abs is the uh, babies that's the confirmatory diagnosis for your congenital sickness but now let's talk about overall syphilis what are things do we have any culture media for syphilis no we don't okay we don't have we don't have trypanum pedum there is no there is no any artificial culture media like your chlamydia doesn't have an artificial culture media same way in std for syphilis no so what is the main thing all we have other serological methods and microscopic methods so what are those serological microscopic methods uh dark field microscopy we can check what motility what motility all the spirochetes trypanum boreal if they give what corkscrew you know that very 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 well corkscrew motility question okay corkscrew motility and then silver impregnation uh, method test like that means you get black color the bacilli will look very uh, black color for that Quantum and levadity, we not everywhere we use, only in the high uh, places they have this stain. So, quantum and levadity, silver impregnation test we can do. And then, rabbit infectivity test we can do, which is Nicole strain. So, these are possible methods, but these are not the confirmatory methods. Okay. So, don't forget, we uh, for spirochetes, uh, all the spirochetes, we can use dark field microscope. That means the background will be dark, but you can see the motility of the spirochetes, you know, moving in the microscope. Okay. Silver, silver information test, you can do fontan and levity. You can add a rabbit infected test. You can do now non triponemal So, triponemal test can be classified into non specific and specific. Non specific is non triponemal test. Specific is specific for triponemal pallidum. So, what are the non specific tests? If you, everyone knows it, that is VDR and RPR. Okay. Now, when you're talking about non triponemal test, a non specific, you're talking about VDR and RPR. We are going to talk each. In both the cases, what is the antigen we are using? What is the antigen we are using? The antigen which we are using is basically cardiolipin. This is a question. Cardiolipin we are going to use for both VDR and RPR. Cardiolipin is basically lecithin plus cholesterol combination, which is also called lipoidal. Lipoidal, this lipid here. Okay, lipid, lipoidal antigen. Okay, so lecithin and cholesterol. Now, antibody detected is the, we are detecting the ray, uh, ray, region antibodies. That's what RPR means, region antibody uh, reaction. Okay. RPR, RAIN, okay, RAIN antibodies. So, this is not a specific antibody, okay. So, now see this two. If they give this thing, this is the uh, VDRL. This is for VDRL test, the slide which uses a VDRL slide. They can give you history and tell, identify whatever slide they use. Only in VDRL, we have this typical uh, the, 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 uh, slide, okay, where we are going to check the reaction, where we are going to see that uh, the, the precipitation reactions, we, are, we can see a flocculation, the flocules we are going to see here, okay. And then what about this? This is your RPR. RPR is basically a card test. RPR is basically card test. There also you can check for the flocules. Both are slight flocculation test. That itself is a question, immunological question. Okay. Now, so we have two tests, VDL RPR. Both are slight flocculation, as I told you. A repeated question. Both are slight flocculation. You do it in a slide. So what is the main difference? So what is the main difference? In VDRL, we need what? We need a microscopy. We can't see through the eye. So a microscopy is mandatory here. Microscopy is mandatory. What about RPR? No need. Naked eye mean you can see it. Okay. So antibodies in, in your way, in CSF, in your brain. If there is a neurosyphilis, that is, if you, if you want to check the antibodies in CSF, we can use VDR. But not for RPR. You can't use it. So this is a frequent asked question. They can ask you differences between RPR, which of the following is not possible. So please remember, microscopy in VDRL, microscopy is mandatory, but in RPR, you no need microscopy. But the other problem is CNS. When you think about neurosyphilis, the best is VDRL. RPR will not work. RPR will not be the CSF sample. So we can't do RPR test. Okay. That also you have to remember. Okay. Got it? Now next. So, uh, both used for treatment response. If you uh, any patient after penicillin treatment, if you want to see the teeter has decreased or not, you're going to use VDL RPI. Okay. Now that, that that's the main use of your what? Uh non usually when initial tests are always this only VDL RPI. Then to confirm it, you will send what to triponema test because a lot of non-specific uh, the VDL RPI can give positive for other. Uh, spirochetes also. That's what it is not confirmatory. Okay. Now let's go to triponemal no specific test. When you go to the triponemal specific tests, the antigen is triponemal pallidum. Antibody against triponemal pallidum. That's what it is specific. So we are using this antigen to find the antibody against the triponemal pallidum. So if you're using a live organism, that test is TPI, triponemal immobilization test. That means 
Uh, you you put this uh, the the tryponema. You are adding a motile uh, tryponema in the in the in this test, and then what happened when there is anti it's an antigen, and then if there is antibody already. There is antigen. This antibody inhibits. It forms a complex. It inhibits the motility of what tryponema pallidum. That's what it is. Immobilization test. You are trying to do the immobilization test. One thing that is a specific number one. So wherever there is T T T, that the, those things are T T T. That is all about specific tests. Okay, so you'll never confuse. The word triponema comes, that is specific. Okay. Other one is FT. FT ABS is basically fluorescent triponema antibody absorption test. This is the first test to become positive after infection. FT ABS is the first. F for F, F for first. And also for the congenital syphilis. For congenital syphilis also we use this. And here also for the confirmatory or the first test to become positive also this one, FT ABS. Okay, more sensitive and specific. And TPH is triponema pallidum hemagglutination test. We do commonly used to test. We do the hemagglutination check, you know, whether it's mat or not. Okay. That is another thing. Okay. We will have TPHA test. And then what about TPPA? TPPA also question. Also, another thing very rarely used, but please remember this is a specific test. TT is there. So wherever they say T, 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 they all are specific. Triponema. T means triponema, triponema. Okay. So pretty much not VDR, not RPR. And another test is Washerman is also not specific test. It is basically a complement fixation test. Complement fixation. Complement fixation test. Okay. Complement fixation test. Okay. Remember that. Okay. Yes. Now, uh, now, 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 now. Now let's go to the uh, diagnosis of the neurosyphilis. Diagnosis of neurosyphilis. Okay. One second. So, uh, now the question frequently asked is with the patient is having neurosyphilis, which is the best. So, VDRL is best than FTIPS. That's the important thing with VDRL. Okay. So, don't forget VDRL. Basically, VDRL is what? Venereal disease research laboratory. Okay. When venereal disease, I should have told you earlier, this is basically venereal disease research laboratory. Laboratory. Okay. Uh, RPR is rapid plasma range. Rapid plasma rain okay laboratory okay that's it okay now xarix eczema reaction xarix eczema reaction is basically uh another important question can be asked is xarix eczema reaction in xarix eczema reaction what happens is that after starting the antibiotic treatment there is a hypersensitivity reactions okay in syphilis after starting the treatment you get hypersensitivity reactions they are like fever, chills, and mild, etc. That is the Harris eczema reaction. If you remember iris reaction, it happens in the HIV when you're starting the treatment. In HIV patient, okay, when you're starting the reconstituting the treatment, they can have iris treatment. Same way in this one, in the uh, Zarix eczema reaction is specific for your, specific for your, this one. Uh, Zarix is for after, uh, in basically after starting penicillin therapy. Okay, that's it. Now, next. Borrelia. Borrelia, uh, Borrelia uh, after uh, trypanoma is over, now next is your Borrelia. So in Borrelia, what happened? We're going to talk about Borrelia now. Uh, Borrelia is Borrelia, Burdorferi. You know, very easy. How I remember Borrelia, Burdorferi, please remember. Whenever it's boring, whenever it's boring, eat burger. Eat burger, okay? And eat burger, excuse me, eat burger with what? Lime, lime, okay, and not only lime. What you do? You pour lime on skin, okay. So, kya kya hai put? Eat burger because boring matlab borilia, boring borilia, borilia, huh? Burger matlab burdor peri. The species name is burdor peri, right? Lime. The disease name is Lyme's disease. Again, so Lyme disease is frequently asked. That's what I made this clue. So you never forget delicious burger. Eat delicious. Whenever it's boring, eat a delicious burger. Take a lime water with that and put the lime on your skin. And then what you get if you put the lime on your skin? What you get? You get the erythema, erythema migrans, erythema migrans. Okay, the rash will spread here and there. That's what erythema migrans. Okay, got it. Now let's go. Now, now, now. So what is this? What is this? How it is? How it is happening? Your Lyme's disease happens because of which one? This one. What is this? The disease name already told you. Lyme's disease. This one is 
exodistic. Exodistic. This is the exodistic. Okay, remember, this is the exodistic. Exodis, exodistic. It's possibly exodistic. This one. This is exodistic. Okay. Uh, another one is scabies. Scabies is what? That is caused by trombicloid mite. Don't forget. These are two important confusing questions. In scrub typhus, it was the trombicloid mite. Trombicloid mite. That's also called larva. That is the larva of this one, which is called sugar, sugarosis. But when you talk about Lyme's disease, it is exodistic. Okay. Ex exodistic. Exodistic. Okay. So, and the disease, Lyme's disease is almost similar to your rheumatic fever. Like you can have carditis, you can have meningitis, you can have arthritis, you can have Bell's palsy. Bell's palsy is not in uh, uh, rheumatic fever, but the rest you have. And erythema. If you remember why the rashes are always important, rashes are almost look similar. What is this rash? It looks like a bullseye, right? It looks like a bullseye. But the real name is what? Why did I say if you put lime on your skin, what happens? The rashes will migrate, migrants. That's what the name is, migrants. Okay. Idea is, just make a clue. Rash will migrate here and there. What about in your rheumatic fever? In rheumatic fever, what was the rash in rheumatic fever, if you remember? Remember? What is that rash name? You have erythema margina. Erythema marginatum. Erythema Marginatum. That question also was frequently asked. And don't forget the ectima gangrenosum, ecta capuris in pseudomonas, and don't forget the erysipella in streptococcus pyogens, and don't forget the erythrasma caused by cornea bacterium mini to sum. Okay. And erythema infectiosum. Erythema infectiosum parvo five, fifth day disease. Okay, remember? See how many rashes you have. Rashes then put. I'll make, I'll make a separate class for rashes. Don't worry. Okay. Only for rashes, I'm going to make a separate class. So for now you remember. So Lyme's disease, Lyme me kya kurugi? Up skin me dalogi. So it will migrate. Yan se, yan se, yan se. It's my. Otherwise, the name is also called what? Bull's eye lesion. The lesion looks like a bull's eye lesion. Okay. That's what. So this is the thing you should know. Okay. Now, next. Uh, the, uh, the next disease now we're going to see is. Yes, I'm sorry, excuse me. Yeah. Now, what is the common uh, serology method we are going to use here? Serology, which is the serology method. Uh, uh, so in, uh, uh, excuse me, I'm so sorry. Just close this. I'm sorry, I'm very sorry. I just, this thing accidentally got open. I have to close it. Okay. Okay. Uh, so now uh, the serology test. What are the tests we're going to use here? Once again, I'm very sorry, very sorry. And just, yeah. Now, uh, serology method. In serology, the most common method used in uh, your uh, Lyme's disease serology only. Screening, you can use LISA. Confirmatory is Western blot. Western blot is also HIV. But in HIV, HIV confirmatory also. But in HIV, we have better. PCR is the most the best we already spoke about it. Okay. Now, treatment is doxycycline. Then we have one more Borle. Borle, Borderferi, Borle, Vincenti. See this picture. What is this? This is a, this is a gingivosomatitis. You see here, it's a severe gingivo, your gum infection, gingivosomatitis. Okay. In dental, it's very important. So this is, one is a uh, trench mouth. We call this a trench mouth. This is Vincent Angina, otherwise called trench mouth. So don't forget, trench mouth is caused by Borrelia Vincenti. Okay, but not the trench fever. Trench fever is caused by who? Who? Who is the trench fever? Who is trenched always? Queen. Which queen? Which queen? Bordetella Quintana. Bordetella Quintana. Queen is always stretched. Queen is stretched. But Vincent ka kya hota hai? Trench mouth hota hai. But queen ka kya hota hai? Trench fever hota hai. Trench fever. Trench fever. Don't forget. Trench fever. Okay. Yes. And ulcerative gingivostomatitis is also associated with the fusiform bacilli. Okay. Now next. Relapsing fever. Again, in relapsing fever also caused by Borrelia species. But what? They are totally different to us. So relapsing fever... Uh, it is uh, vector borne, vector borne. Okay, it's, it's spreading by the vectors, insects. Two types, epidemic and the endemic. So when you talk about the epidemic, it is the, which one? Borrelia recurrentis. And endemic is by Dotoni and Hermsey. Okay. Not frequently asked, but most commonly asked is uh, relapsing fever epidemic. 
epidemics again I told it is all where everywhere everywhere remember it's everywhere epidemic means everywhere in the catch also because a pravasaki if it's epidemic then it is everywhere okay so there what it was uh, that was the typhus we're talking about the epidemic typhus both epidemic typhus or epidemic relapsing fever epidemic is pura jaga hai pura jaga mein kya hota hai sabka baal mein kya hota hai laus hota hai so any epidemic it is laus 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 don't forget that's what i want to stress okay epidemic either it's epidemic typhus or epidemic relapsing fever doesn't matter epidemic means pura hai jindagi pura hai sabko sabko matlab sabka baal mein kya hota hai lice hota hai okay laus or lice so yeah the a question will come definitely you'll have a question on that so please don't forget okay loves endemic mythic not that much as just remember dutoni and tick that's it so what are the symptoms clinical which is important these days they're asking the clinical based questions so if a patient is relapsing fever and some hemorrhage is petechia and uh, also some neurological meningitis seizures and if they give there is a history of loves in this area or tick in this area accordingly with it and then put this in typhus fever okay that's it microscopically you can do a lot of uh, uh, these all are spirochetes so again same you can do gym sustain and check for the check for what the spirochetes you can check for the spirochetes right you can check for the spirochetes or direct fluorescent antibody test you can do or dark field microscopy and then blood culture you can do commonly done and serology is done okay that's it so now next elisa and ifpa one important thing is the uh, LPQ assay. This might be asked. This might be asked. LPQ assay for your typhus fever. This is a glycerol phosphodiester phosphodiesterase, the most reliable test. So if they ask which is the most reliable test for typhus, typhus, endemic typhus or epidemic typhus, that is your, uh, sorry, I'm uh, relaxing, relaxing fever, endemic uh, relapsing fever or your uh, epidemic relapse. When it's relapsing fever, the best is the, the reliable test is GLPQ assay. Okay, GLPQ assay test. It's like an LSA only. So, uh, the, one of the important tests you can remember GLPQ test, serology test. Okay, yes. So, treatment is again you go with doxy or erythromycin. Doxy or erythromycin. Okay, that you remember. Right. Now, so we are coming to the last spiral. Okay, that is your leptospira. One of the examiner's favorite topic. Uh, frequently, questions are asked from this topic. Okay. Now, what are they? Leptospira. First of all, Leptospira, it's how it how what is the shape? It is it is a spirochetes, right? But then at the end of the spirochetes, you have what a handle that is what umbrella umbrella handle appearance umbrella handle appearance is statistical leptospira one number one okay umbrella handle transmission by which urine rats urine rats urine three R's are characteristic in leptospira never forget that three R's what are the three R R R R not that movie R R R we have RRR, leptospira also has three RRR. Okay, what are those RRR? So RR1 is the uh, uh, one is the rain. Other one is the rain. Me kya hota hai? Paddy field pura, rice field. That is in the rice field, gets flooded. Fir rice field flooded ho, rice field ke andar kya hai? Rodents. Rodents matlab rats. Bara jata hai. So that's what they come out. And then what happened? Accidentally, if the water enters your body through any wound or abrasion or whatever, it causes the leptospirosis. Okay. So now, usually they are mostly asymptomatic, but if they're symptomatic, this is the symptom. What is the symptom? What is the disease name? When it's a severe leptospirosis, leptospirosis severe infection, it causes the wheels disease. Wheels disease, not the wheel pillage. Wheel pillage will come where in your rickettsia. Wheel pillage will come in your rickettsia. There, uh, we are used to the antigen. That's a different story. Here, it's just the Beals disease. That's what hepatorenal syndrome. Hepatorenal syndrome. Okay. Now, if they have joint is renal failure with hemorrhage fever. Okay. This is a combination. Wheels. Now, next. Dark field microscopy. Uh, we can do again same. All the all for all your spirochetes, you can do dark field microscopy. Most, most, most asked common question is here. Which treatment? Which test? The most important test for diving leptospira? MAT. MAT. MAT test. MAT is basically what? Microscopic agglutination test. Important as well. Because if you remember, again, I'm repeating here. We have three important tests. MAT, SAT, CAT. MAT, SAT, CAT. MAT kis ke paas hota hai? MAT. MAT helps the leptospira. Leptospira ko 
मैट के पास क्या है लेप्टोस्पिरोसिस मैट मैट गेट्स लेप्टोस्पिरोसिस ओके और मैट हेल्प्स लेप्टोस्पिरोसिस सैटेलाइट किसके पास है ब्रूसेल्ला ब्रूसली ब्रूसली कैट किसके पास होता है डायना माइकोप्लास्मा डायना माइकोप्लास्मा वेरी सिंपल सो डेफिनेटली एक्सपेक्टेड क्वेश्चन इम्यूनोलॉजी क्वेश्चन आल्सो डायग्नोस्टिक पार्ट ऑफ इट इज इंपॉर्टेंट ओके सो दैट्स ऑल वी फिनिश विद दिस पैरोपेल सो नाउ द नेक्स्ट एस इज स्टेफिलोकोकस एंड स्टेप्टोकोकस विल हैव सेपरेट क्लास ओके थैंक यू गाइस so all uh, whatever the topic we discussed are very important you can always expect question from spherophytes definitely on lipto or cephalus or borrelia easily you can get one question okay thank you